everybody, Gutter here for the fifth day of fucking Crapmas. Ho ho, fucking ho. And for the fifth day of Crapmas, I have clips from Bones from the Barn, episode 184. Yeah, it's this homemade little fucking movie, horror movie, comedy thing that we found fucking amazing. So, yeah, there's like this spirit that's haunting these people and killing this family, whatever, it doesn't fucking matter. This happens every year at 11 o'clock on a certain day, whatever. Here, check out this amazing acting. So these two old guys go inside and they talk to their family and we can't understand a fucking word they oh say. God. This is Nothing. awesome. Rainfro, y'all there in between Mary Evelyn and Sarah John, out there on the couch. Yes, sir. Bang, 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 bang. I was like, whoa. Well, and then this drunk old man has his little spill. Peter, what you doing here? Ain't this a gathering of kin, folks? <laughs> I wouldn't hardly call a fourth cousin kin. Well, I tell you what, I'm planning on doing some hugging and kissing over here tonight, and if I'm getting me a drink here in just a minute, I'll do some of them more than once. All right, tell you what, though. Make me a promise, don't get too drunk, all right? What's too drunk? Can you define that? Dude, I love him. <laughs> the way he's on the chair. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. I constantly had to put a cap on his fucking booze, and it just popped her out of you over all this movie did was Conrad fucking Brooks. Yes. Yes, I love this. I have nothing bad to say about this whole thing. It was fucking fun. So, okay, this yeah. other dude, he's, he, it. he stands up I'm to get a kitchen. beer. I won't go to the kitchen and get a beer. But his woman yells at him. Vern, you don't need another beer. That's right, Vern. I'll tell you what. If we're all alive here at 11 o'clock, we'll all have a beer with you. So I guess he decides he gets the beer and decides he's gonna go take a pee. Well, I'm gonna go take a pee. But he gets yelled out for that for saying... Don't say where pee. Or don't you talk like that in front of Cousin Maybell. Let the boy pee. Tell you what, Vern. I want you out of that bathroom in a minute and a half. You got me? Because I want you out of here before 11 o'clock. You if can't say we're cousin Mary, 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 Mary Bell, Jason Bell, or whatever the hell her name Bell Bell was. But then, but like, I love it. Every time they would cut back to old guy, he'd take it, he'd go, blah, 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 you know, drink, and they'd put the cap on. Or they'd cut to the other family, and they'd just be looking dead into the camera. <laughs> I love that shit. So you know, like any movie with ghost bones or whatever, you know, they always got to dig them up and do fucking something. So they go to Haddonfield Cemetery to dig up the bones and this amazing scene happens. So we cut to Hadfield Cemetery where the family's digging up the bones of Hickenbicker, Dicker, Sticker, Bicker, Bicker. Licker. I, my favorite part of that whole situation was when whoever the fuck it was was Found out of the, the bones. Hole. Right, there right. Now. He kicks it and they go, boom, boom, boom. I'm like, whoa, he's got rubber bones. Ah! Well then, this weird shit happens because dude sinks into the grave. Well, there's some text that comes up and fucking says, but his acting's fucking great too. Hell boys, I'm singing. Somebody throw me something. Hell boys, I'm singing. Somebody throw me something. Give me, give me here. Yeah, we're going. Somebody throw me something. Give me, give me I'm afraid! Yeah. You ought not to die like That's that. That's right. You I'm sure afraid! Should. Somebody throw me something! Get those arms before he takes another pick them, and we'll put them in there. I love how they keep fucking repeating that shit. Hey, that's all the guy, man! He's like, hey, tell me, 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 And I was like, oh my god, how long are they gonna fucking play? So from there, what else could happen in this movie? Trick or treat at Haddonfield Mental Institute. Here, check this out. <laughs> so then we cut I don't have to Haddonfield Mental Hospital, and it's trick or treat. Let's just have two at a time. I don't want all these kids in here. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. But it Haddonfield fucking mental hospital to retreat and tells the kids giving candy to, to the, the mental patients. patients. Right, and some of those patients do not look like they should be around children. <laughs> and then they run into Mr. Hickendicker or whatever the fuck, kicking yeah. liquor. Hell, some of the people that weren't in the institution look like they shouldn't have been around children. And he children. stands up with no boat, with no arms, and he's like, ah, that <laughs> right, right, well, here. All of you, yeah, get away from me now. 
worthless youngins. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. And then text comes up and says, "Get out of me!" No, no, no. And text comes up saying the kids ran out that they're now traumatized. Right. I was like, "What?" I mean, I was like, "Yes, but." Uh, eh. And then you know, at, at the end of any good ghost fucking movie, the ghost has got to get the fucking guy. No movie does it better than this one here. Here comes my favorite part, right? Because oh, it cuts to the reporter driving down the road and he gets attacked by the bones. Yes. So he's the driving bones, going slowly bones. like this and the bones are like, eh. Hey, hey. So he gets out of the car and he's fighting with these bones while some random chick's just standing in the, standing in the road like one of his house. But you also missed the point, though, that, that one part, when he was getting out of the car, you saw the dude's hands holding the rubber <laughs> bones and he had to let him go. I was loving that. I was like, oh, oh. God. And then we get some text. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, if you want to check out the full review, it is episode 184, Bones in the Barn. So for Gutter Claws, I'll see you tomorrow for day five of the 12 days of fucking crapmas. Ho, ho, motherfucking.